Hey, what's up? This is Jordan Wagner with PremierGuitar.com here with Tom Appleton of Ibanez Guitars, and he's going to talk to us today about the new Ibanez universe. Okay, well, it was 20 years ago, as we know, that a, a young guitarist burst onto the scenes and, and pretty much revolutionized the way we've heard guitar ever since. And, of course, that's Steve Vai. And 20 years ago was also the anniversary of the Passion and Warfare album cover that this sculpture is based upon. Now, for this, we've enlisted the original multicolor swirl master, Darren Johansson, to redo the swirl that he did 20 years ago. And again, as you can see from the, uh, from the great looks, he's definitely mastered his technique even better than ever before. So this is one of the most accurate and beautiful universes we've ever had. The attention to detail, every part of this guitar is amazing. And again, are they, uh, are, so the specs are identical to original, like a pickup wise, and yes, the specs are uh, completely um, identical to the original, except they're even better now. The workmanship <laughs> is much better. I mean, every little aspect from the disappearing pyramid inlay is just absolutely perfect. Great, sounds awesome. So, what's the availability on these right now? Well, there's 60 pieces coming to the United States, and we're looking at a launch date currently of May 1st when this will be out there for the public. Okay. And pricing on it? Price, it's $8,000 list. Great. And I got to say, too, this is one of the coolest displays I've seen all at the NAMM show. Steve Vai, Frozen, and Carbonite, ladies and gentlemen. This is amazing. So it seems here we have some reworked RGs here. You want to tell us about them? Yes, this is a, a new dimension in RGs. We're calling the RGD line. And as we all know, people have been down-tuning forever, but in the past 10, 15 years, it's just everything is down-tuned. It's hard to find a song in natural tuning anymore. But there's no manufacturers out there really addressing this need in the marketplace. That's why we came out with the RGD. Totally geared for down-tuning from the start. It's, we spent two years in development with a ton of our artists at the LA office trying to get it just right before we settled on a 26 and a half inch scale length that we felt was perfect for this. And the pickups, are geared to be um, tuned down as low as B and be completely articulate and cut through the rest of the sounds of the band. So these are the first guitars really made for that music without having to be altered after the fact. Most of the people that are going out there have to alter their guitars to buy aftermarket pickups to try to get it going. But from the very beginning, these are designed to be used for that downtune trend that we all know has been out there forever and is really a mainstay. It's not really a trend. Um, Again, all sorts of attention to detail, extra scoop cuts to get in there, nice angled body for that edge. That's an interesting placement for the pickup selector and the fact that the single volume knob has a knurled edge on there. Yes, for that quick release. Yeah. Now you mentioned uh, the pickups earlier. Are they an Ibanez brand or are they, they, they Demarzio? They are Ibanez brand pickups that we designed specifically for this use. Great. New for 2010, limited edition. A Shula base. It's a fretted and fretless hybrid base. Now this is perfect for the working musician who doesn't want to have to carry multiple bases out to his gigs. As we all know, it's no fun lugging around all that equipment before we're rich and famous and have roadies to do it for us, right? <laughs> so um, it's basically, it looks like a six string, but it's really a four string because it's tuned E, A, D, G, and then the extra fretless strings are D, G as well. So you can still hold on, hold down the bottom, keep the thing going and when you want to hop into a solo or do a fretless thing you have that option and again a separate pickup just for the fretless strings its own volume and tone controls so we have a really really pretty stain on here what's the wood composite made out of the wood is ash for great tone great great and uh, what's the pricing on it it's 1333 list another great feature I want to call out is the monorail bridges I'm not sure if you're familiar with the monorail concept, but basically by having individual saddles mounted to the base, it actually allows for less string vibration and you know overtones coming from the other strings. So another very cool feature. And what's the availability on them? These will be coming in around May as well. So where can people go to find out more information about these new models coming out? Okay, well I invite everybody to come out to Ibanez.com. We have all the information on our new models up there. We have lots of great bells and whistles, artist interviews, lots of interactive stuff. So go check out Ibanez.com. Killer, man. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Hey, this is Jordan Wagner, and you're watching PremierGuitar.com.